The pictures for Chanel 22K have just come out and now we have some really good photos to look up close at what the items look like, the details, and I have made a little bit of a mistake from the previous video because those pictures were really small. Courtesy of Shop With Crystal, she was kind enough to message me to say that she can send me some more high resolution pictures and I can share them with you in the future. There were a lot of tweeds in this collection and I am in love with so many of them. There's so many bags and shoes that I want to share with you. Things that I'm going to share with you today is something that I would imagine myself styling, how I'd incorporate it into my wardrobe. Starting off with my favorite, which is the handbags. We have the classic handbag and it comes in really nice tweed colors. I think this hot pink color screams out to me the most and I already have a fuchsia pink in my wardrobe as you can see I've styled it in so many different outfits but this one is really interesting because it's a really beautiful tweed material that is not the same as the previous tweeds where they're a lot more delicate. This is a lot more robust and it's a lot more tightly knitted. And instead of having a multitude of different colors, it really sticks to the plain simple color. The strap looks like it's in a leather and then inside it's leather lined, so it's a very beautiful finish. And then they also have this blue color, this Tiffany blue color. I feel like every cruise collection, they always have this hot pink color, like this fuchsia color and a Tiffany blue. But I feel like they're bringing this back more and more often, especially with the lighter pink colors. You saw them quite often compared to when Karl Lagerfeld was around. He only bought it out every now and then, but now it's becoming more of a frequent thing. But at the current price of 7,180, I'm not sure whether I could bite the bullet to actually purchase this bag full price because for something to be that price it needs to be really mind-blowing. I don't think that these tweeds are that mind-blowing for me to really run and chase after it and currently I'm really happy with my classic flaps. I've got the black one and I've also got the fuchsia pink one so adding colors like these is not really that mind-blowing. And then you have these other tweed materials or fabrics and this one is a pink and black one with the black leather strap. I'm not too keen on this one. I think from a it makes me a bit dizzy so I don't think I'll incorporate that into my wardrobe and then we have this beautiful denim one I think this one's pretty cool they have a light one and a dark one and they're both really pretty but again something that I won't purchase for seven thousand pounds but this is way too expensive for what I would buy and then we have the special ones where these are price upon request and this one is a rainbow one it's got bits of red a bit of blue a bit of green and a bit of white and it's got this CC logo kind of imprinted in there and these patterns are created using these little diamond kind of sequin rhinestones and it's really really pretty and I reckon this would be more than £10,000 because it's a special edition. We have another tweed one here and this one's quite interesting. This one is more of that Christmassy kind of scarf pattern material. It's very pretty. We have this ruby red color with the mix of the blacks and this one's a really beautiful one. I don't think I'll be able to incorporate this in my wardrobe but I do think that this would suit quite a lot of people especially with the silver hardware. It really brings that edginess to it but for me I'm kind of more of a light floral golden tone kind of person so that one I won't be incorporating. This however, this is a price upon request one as well. This has so many jewels on it so it takes the elements of the original material classic flap where it was made in Jersey put into the Karl Lagerfeld edition and then it's got these beautiful jewels on there. I think this one is a showstopper for sure and if I had the money to do so I would definitely run and purchase it. For now I am being more conscious of my spending and especially with the current climate I need to be a little bit more mindful. And then this one, this sparkly gem is just such an angelic piece. It kind of takes that winter frosty vibe and it places it onto a beautiful handbag and it just sparkles, shimmers, glistens and it's got these beautiful flower arrangements on there. I think that this is a work of art and of course it is priced upon request because it is so special and because the sparkles are implemented onto the velvet it just makes it ever so festive, holiday-like and it's just a really enchanting piece so this I think is a very very beautiful one. Then we got the two 
two main colors of the season. There's this mustard yellow, and then we also have this mossy green. And these two colors are going to be in the Chanel 19, the 22 bag, other classic bags that are out there, but also the newer seasonal bags. I think they are pretty, but I don't think that I will be able to put them into my wardrobe. This mini flat bag with this cashmere tweed and this gold tone metal fuchsia color, it's so beautiful. It's really shimmery and it looks like a bejeweled piece to wear and the strap looks like a necklace and it's just so stunning. This does have three pockets in there and it's just really, really pretty. I love the color of it, but I love how the design is really, really sparkly and it also makes that statement piece because you have that centerpiece there. It's like a flower kind of reminds me of that camellia flower. Also the strap with those little jewels in there, but it's actually the tweed jewels. Moving on to this handbag, this one looks like a kind of replacement for the Gabrielle bag. I heard it was discontinued and I think this is kind of like the seasonal replacement for that, but I think this one's quite a nice modernized version and it also has the CC logos on the top. But at the same time, it's kind of a half between the classic flap chain and it's just a really pretty design. Then we have this large backpack I at first thought that this was similar to the business affinity which it kind of takes the elements of the business affinity but it makes it into a backpack. I should have watched the show a little bit more detailed, but I love that this is a classic bag design, but they made it a more everyday functional bag. Sometimes when you wear it on the back, it's a lot more comfortable. It is quite a big size, and I think it's about the same size as a jumbo, and it comes in this patent leather. They also have the small version of this, but this isn't a bag. This is more of a crossbody bag, and it's a good price of 3,870, and it's roughly the same size as a Chanel medium classic flap. It has these two pockets in there, which it does take the elements of the classic flap where it has the front pocket, but it also has that zipper back pocket, which is really handy. And then this same small size, it comes in the various tweeds. Again, tweeds is the main theme. And I love how they brought the four winter elements in there. And it's just really festive and really seasonal. They have two different tweed versions. They have this more red and blue one, and then they have it in the reverse. And then I saw this one, which is more like a little macaroon and it's really cute. It's more of an SLG rather than something that is functional. So I don't think you can fit any card holders in there, but you could fit like a lipstick, a little hand cream in there, some samples or your little perfume. And in this catwalk, they attach the flowers on there, the camellia flowers, and it just adds that really cute touch. And then onto the infamous Chanel 22 bag. And this bag had a lot of turnover where some people really loved the bag, some people really hated it. And then they had the whole problem with the quality issues where it was peeling or cracking and it was just a bit of a hit and miss everywhere. Now they came out with the tweed version of this bag and initially not too long ago they came out with the velvet version and a lot of people really enjoyed that one. Now this tweed one I think that these are really pretty. It doesn't look so much like a trash bag anymore. It looks really cute kind of like a little Santa sack but a more pretty one. So this one is more of a black pink one. It just adds that nice shimmer in there and it's really, really pretty. It looks like a little bit sparkly, but actually it's the tweed making it look like that little speckle kind of detail. And then they also have this really pretty pink one with this nice cross hatching on there. And it just looks so cute. It kind of has that snake skin appearance, but it's in a tweed form. It actually makes me consider whether I want to have a Chanel 22 or not. They also have it in the grey and that one looks really cute as well. And then they have this weird rainbow edition one which I'm not too keen on. I think it looks a little bit childish and it doesn't really scream luxury for me. Here we have this beautiful backpack and it's got this tweed material again. I really like how the straps are the same as the Chanel classic flaps where it's got the interwoven leather. It's so pretty. I really love how that always sparkles and it's so pretty. The CC logos, you can see one on the top and one at the front pockets. So it takes that element of the business affinity and it's so gorgeous. I love the details and it's got this really functional drawstring in there and it just makes it so wide, so functional. I think this one will sell out for sure because it is so cute and it's at a pretty good price compared to the other Chanel bags. Now the shoes in this collection are so gorgeous. I really love how there's so many tweeds, so many elements and it's just so pretty. So this one is a matching one too 
choose same as that Chanel 22 bag, the pink one, and it's got that pink and a little bit of burgundy and a bit of black in there. They also have it in this grey colour with the pink details. One of my favourites because Chanel and Tweed are just match make in heaven because it's so beautiful, so classic, and they come at the average price of about £7.30. It is quite expensive, but I don't think they have gone up so much compared to the Chanel Classic flaps. Now they have these metallic versions and I'm not sure whether these are the previous collection so do let me know in the comments below but these pink ones are very iridescent and I just think they're stunning. The front is also the leather but it has this softer leather approach and they have the pink one as well as this dark blue one and this was quite interesting because it looks fluffy. So out of these classic shoes I would probably pick the pink ones where it's the iridescent pink ones and I'll probably go for the grey tweed because I think that's a little bit more neutral and it fits a lot more outfits in my wardrobe. I think the pink one might be a little bit too bold. I think it's a showstopper and because my bags are usually quite bold I don't think I need to have an extra bold shoe. The grey and pink tweed also comes in the sling back so I'll probably either get these or the ballet flats and this one we have a nice close-up look at where these are actually actually sequins ingrained into the tweed. So it's got this sparkly black tweed and then the white sequins in there. I think it looks super pretty. I probably would more likely gravitate towards this because it's more versatile. You can wear it around in London because London is quite a dark, <laughs> bit of a gloomy weather city. I would be less afraid of wearing these around London compared to the grey ones and if they get dirty it's a lot less noticeable than if you wore the grey ones. In terms of the heeled version of the classic slingbacks there's this kind of like rainbow edition where it's got more reds and greens kind of looks like a Christmas tree but this one where it's more of a black and pink one I think it's stunning. I would probably get this one. This one looks really really sweet but I think it's a little bit too childish in my opinion. I do like the vibe of it but I don't think I would pay that much to have that vibe. And then we have these high boots which are stunning. These are the black and grey material tweed and the heel just looks really nice and it just elongates your legs, it's so pretty. I really love how cosy this looks and I think this will pair very well with so many different outfits. Then we move on to the accessories and accessories is not something that I would really gravitate towards in Chanel because I have heard a lot of quality issues even before the major ones in the last few years where the rhinestones always come out or the glue doesn't hold on very well. So costume jewellery wasn't really a thing for me but I still like the look of them. I have these Chanel earrings and they don't have any like little bits that can fall off. Easy to look after. But this brooch looks really really pretty. It's a thousand pounds which I'm not sure whether I would purchase that. Then this one it's more of a necklace so they have a necklace version and they have a crossbody version. I really love how the hearts are coming back into a theme. It does open up so that you have a little tiny mirror inside. Not very functional at all, but it is a really cute accessory. And then they have this one, which I thought was interesting because I thought that this one was even cuter because it's kind of like this little trinket case. Reminds me of the Barbie collection that came out quite a few years ago. And then they have the pink and pearly kind of design where they have the Coco design. I think I've seen the CC design on the brooch before and that looks really pretty. They have this same kind of flower design again but this time on a brooch so earlier we saw it on a bag and now it's on a brooch and this one looks really really nice because it looks so sparkly and you can just wear this on any blazer jacket, any dress and it will just uplift your dress just like that. So that is the collection for Chanel 22K. If you do see any gems that are on the website that I haven't mentioned, do comment below. If you want to check out more Chanel videos, then check over here and I will see you there. Bye!